who has been traveling the planet to find the images that speak to your soul. And they really do. David Yarrow is Miller Gallery's newest photographer. He will be hosting a book signing and artists talk this evening at Miller Gallery. But first, he is here on Good Morning Cincinnati, live in our studio. David, thank you so much for coming in this morning. It's very nice to be here. I, there's so many questions I have for you. But first of all, I'm interested in knowing how you went from being a sports photographer and you took some world famous photos then to doing what you do now. I think the problem with, with sports photography, whether you're photographing the, the Bengals, and I hear they're mm -hmm. not very good right they're now. They're not. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, you do your homework. <laughs> um, is that there's a lot of photographers around the pitch. So it's mm. very difficult to get something fresh and new that other people mm. haven't got. If you're photographing a tennis match and you have a big tennis tournament here as well, I know. Yes. It's difficult to get a picture of Nadal or Federer or Murray that no one else has. Mm. So like all rules of economics, if you've got a huge amount of supply and static demand, it's not going to do much for your price. Right. I rather like being places where there's no photographer within 100 miles of where I am, which is harder and harder in this day and age. Yeah, I, I do want to point out, while you're looking for fresh images, I wanted to say, first of all, this book shows a pretty spectacular image on the front, but then you look at the back, and you see this man works for his money. He okay. works for his money. <laughs> you, you do a lot of research, though, in spite of the fact that I was just teasing, saying I think you're going to get eaten by one of your subjects. Uh, you do a lot of work to, to minimize the risk that you take. Ab absolutely. Yeah. And, and I think one of the problems with wildlife photography is that people had worried too much about safety and about regulation. And that manifested itself in the camera being too far away from the yeah. subject. So you've got to get around that, that riddle of proximity. And the way you do it is either through lo logistics or research or remote controls, but just trying to be a bit of a rule breaker generally. Yeah. And, and it's taken you in places in the world where very few humans have been, but you, you do it because you are also a conservationist, no? Uh, absolutely. I think the more you spend in these ecosystems, the more you realize that our legacy as tenants of this planet is not very good. And if we're taking uh, money through art out of these areas, it's, it's, it's nice for the soul to be able to put money back in as well. Yeah, and absolutely. you get a lot of money for your photos. You do. Uh, some people are very generous. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Understated as well. And, uh, uh, one thing I did notice uh, uh, is that you catch uh, uh, your subjects in, in just uh, as they are in the environment. I, uh, you do a lot of desk research. You actually understand what it is you're shooting, their characteristics, their habits, before you actually go out with your camera. I, I like to think you, well, you perhaps flatter me a little bit because you're learning on the ground quite sure. a bit as well. Mm -hmm. But it's better to be able to photograph an animal in the state of being that animal right. rather than changing its behavior at a period of time. We have some of your photos that, that we want to show sure, while we yeah. chat with you. Uh, tell us a little bit about that one. Well, that, that picture kind of changed my life a little bit. It was t I was the first uh, uh, journalist or photographer up there for about six or seven years. It's in the South Sudan, which is one mm. of the newest countries in the world yeah. and probably one of them still the most troubled countries in the mm -hmm. world. And it's a Dinka cattle camp. Uh, I, um, I got there. I knew that I had to get there with a ladder to, 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 for, to capture the topography and the scale. Um, but uh, it was an interesting experience. I can't, it's too dangerous to go back there now. Uh, this also, this uh, photograph I think illustrates another technique that you use, you like to shoot up. I think you always sh <laughs> want to shoot up. That's the way, particularly with an elephant, you get an idea of their enormity and their yeah. grandeur. But I'm not there, that's a remote control because if I was there, I wouldn't be here now. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. right. You, speaking of dangerous situations, you just got back from North Korea. Yeah. What were you doing there? Uh, I was just photographing everyday life and, and I'm hoping to go back there. Uh, to photograph the Supreme Leader, uh, if, I'm, if I'm asked. We know so little about everyday life there. What is it like? It, uh, the economy is perhaps worse than what you think. The hospitality is perhaps better than what you think. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not individuals. They, 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 they tend, they're like ants. It's like a religious oh, cult. Oh, goodness. Um, but uh, I, I do sense that everyone in America maybe should just calm down about it a little bit. That there's, there's been one variable change in this situation. Mm. We know what the variable yeah. change is. Uh, David Yarrow, uh, thank you so much for coming in. Not Let me just tell you that, that I'm going to steal some of your ideas because if you're not stealing ideas, you're not getting better. So, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I look okay. at your stuff and I really admire what thank you, you have done. Much. Thank you. And the David Yarrow exhibition opening and book signing with Art Talk is tonight at Miller Gallery from 6 until 8. And for more information on David Yarrow and his work, just go to local12.com and click the Get It link. What a pleasure. Thank it you is. so Thanks much, guys. David. Thanks. Thank you. And we'll oh, be right you. back.